Okay. Hi everyone, it's Nina. I've got two devices I'm recording on, that's why I'm turning my head. Welcome to your 60 minute practice, uh, Bikram Yoga practice, the classic 26 with me. I'm here at Bikram Yoga Delray Beach. So happy to be here with you all. And um, all you need for this class is yourself, your body, your breath, and your willingness to try. So we'll get started. I'm gonna back up to my mat and towel. We'll start with deep breathing. It's good for your lungs and your respiratory system. Breathe in as much as you can, as long and as slow as you can. We'll do one set in this 60 minute practice. Bring your feet together nicely. Interlace your fingers to the webbing, get a nice and tight grip. Hands underneath your chin, thumbs with your throat. Relax your shoulders, lift your chest, suck your stomach and contract your legs and focus your eyes, focus your mind. Exhale a little bit first to prepare and begin to inhale through the nose. Chin stays down and elbows lift up. Fill your lungs all the way to the top and hold it. Good. Now exhale as you slowly, gently push your head way, 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 way back. Stretch your arms forward. Elbows touch last. Inhale, deep breath through the nose. Chin down. Elbows up and suck your stomach in. Take one more sip in. Good. Now exhale everything out. Make an H A ha sound. You're fogging up a mirror above you on the ceiling. Elbows touch. Good. Inhale again. Deep breath. Head down. Arms up. Make it deeper, fuller, and stronger than the last one. Keep inhaling. Good. Now exhale. The more you can exhale, the more room, the more space in your lungs for the next deep breath. Elbows touch. Good, inhale another one, deep breath, head down and arms up. Keep inhaling more and more and a little bit more as you stretch up. Good, exhale without back bending, without collapsing. Lift your chest, lift your elbows and touch your elbows right at the end. Inhale. Listen for the sound through the nose, along the throat, one more sip. Then exhale, H A ha. Use your throat the whole time. Elbows squeeze together last and hold it. Good. Inhale another one. Deep breath. Head down. Arms up. Increasing the lungs capacity. Increasing the elasticity of the lungs. And then exhale. We are strengthening the lungs and strengthening the body-mind's connection. Focusing on the breath. Elbows touch. Good. Inhale. Deep breath. Head down. Arms up. Just a couple more after this. Keep inhaling. Keep inhaling. Stretch up. Then exhale. Legs strong. Weight on the heels, lift up through your chest. Try to put it right up on the ceiling, elbows touch. Good, inhale this one and one more. Think of breathing in energy and oxygen, vitality, life force, keep inhaling. And then exhale, releasing what you no longer need. Still air and still energy. You keep exhaling, keep exhaling, elbows touch. Good, inhale, last one. Deepest breath so far today. Keep inhaling, even when you think your lungs are full, take another sip in and stretch up. Exhale, everything out. Elbows touch last. Relax your arms. Breathe normally for the rest of the practice. Half moon pose with hands to feet pose, Ardha with Padahastasana, or warm up series, three postures, and then we'll take a little water break if we're lucky. Bring your arms over the head sideways. Interlace your fingers, release your index fingers, and cross your thumbs. Squeeze your hands tight, lift your chin up, suck your stomach in. Take a deep breath, stretch up tall, and then a little warm up. Go right and left, and left and right a couple times just to feel out the body that you brought onto the mat today. A couple more, right, left, left, right. And then stop in the center, squeeze your hands a little tighter, lift your chin up, keep your arms with your head, weight to the heels, legs solid. Take a deep breath, stretch up, touch the ceiling, slowly in a straight line, bend your body to the right. See if you can come down without bending your elbows, without bending your knees. Continuously push your hips to the left, enough that you feel it's the goal, your goal, to create tremendous stretching feeling, left side of the body from bones to skin and inside out. Push your hips forward a little bit. Bring the arms and the head back and lift up your chin. See the whole throat visible in the mirror, try not to collapse. 
Bring your left hip forward, keep your hips in the same line. Bring the right shoulder forward a little bit to open up your chest. Now squeeze your hands, come down with your body, push a little more, push harder, push stronger. One more push at the end, find your maximum. Good, then inhale, come up and stop in the middle. Let's readjust, squeeze your hands, chin up. Weight to the heels, squeeze your legs. Take a deep breath, stretch up tall, touch the ceiling, then slowly in a straight line, bend your body to the left without bending your elbows, without bending your knees to the best of your ability. Push your hips to the right, feel, create, maintain and breathe into tremendous stretching feeling the whole right side of the body. From inside out, from bones to skin stretching. Bring the right hip forward, keep your hips in the same line from the side. Left shoulder forward to open up your chest. Now squeeze your hands, inhale and reach. Exhale and push a little bit more, more weight to the heels. Good, suck your stomach in, come down and push and push. Find a little bit more strength at the end to find your maximum. Hold it and breathe manly. Good. Inhale to come up. Stop in the middle for the back bend. First one of the practice. Take a breath in and release your head back as far as the head will go. It's kind of hard to talk in the back bend. Keep your weight on the heels. Inhale, lift up your chest Then exhale, bring your arms back. As you reach back, you look back and you go back. The body will follow your eyes. Keep your weight on the heels and the legs strong. Push your chest up, pull the arms back, stomach, thighs, hips, push it a little bit more forward. As you go back, look back, reach back a little bit further back at the end. Inhale to come up. Stop in the middle, stretch up nice and tall. And then slowly, gently come down for hands to feet pose. You bend your knees, but have a long spine. Hands to the floor, release your spine by bending your knees right and left and left and right. A little warm up, releasing and relaxing the lower back. Make it feel a little bit more movable, a little bit more flexible. It's hands to feet pose, the Padahastasana. Start by bending your knees, touch your stomach to your thighs, Reach around, cup your heels from behind with a palm to heel grip. Baby fingers touch, fingertips point forward, pull your heels, lift your hips, and stretch your body down from the low spine stretching towards the floor. Keep your stomach with your thighs, your chest with your knees, and your face touching your legs below the knees. No space, no light, no air between your upper and your lower body. It should feel pretty intense. Roll forward, bring the weight into your toes, hips up, and head down, you have to pull to stretch the whole back side of the body. Roll forward, pull harder, lift your shoulders, keep breathing, find your maximum and hold it. Inhale to come up, arms and head together, bend the knees with a long spine to come all the way up, all the way up, stretch up, touch the ceiling, and then relax your arms down, be still. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathing through the nose. Second set, bring your arms overhead sideways. Hands together, interlace your fingers, release index fingers, cross your thumbs. Squeeze your palms, chin up. Weight to the heels, legs solid. Take a deep breath, stretch up tall, touch the ceiling, and then slowly push your hips to the left as you reach your arms, your whole upper body to the right. Second set, we're in it, and the body is more open. You have a little bit more range of motion. Bring your left hip forward and the right shoulder forward. Stay in the same line from the side. Come down little by little. Push a little bit more. Find your new maximum. Perhaps it's a new edge for you today. Suck your stomach in. Contract your legs. Hold it. Breathing normal. Inhale, come up. For the left side, squeeze your hands, chin up, stomach in, weight on the heels. Take a deep breath, stretch up tall, touch the ceiling, hips to the right, upper body, arms, reach it over there to the left. Find the equal and the opposite in every way, physically as well as energetically. That means we work hard, but relax in just the right ways. As you push your hips, you reach with the arms, the whole upper body over to the left. Bring the right hip forward and the left shoulder forward. Stay in the same line from the side with weight in the heels. The chin up, the stomach in, use the strength as much as you work on the flexibility to come down and push. Push, push harder at the end, find your new edge, hold it there. Inhale, come up. Second time back bending, a little bit more familiar. Take a breath in, head back as far as possible. Lift your chest and right away. Arms back, go back, 
look back, reach back, try to fall back, keep your weight in the heels, push your stomach, thighs and hips forward more, follow the fingertips with your eyes, reach it back, look back, more back, try to fall back. Inhale, come up, head is the last. Take a deep breath, stretch up, bend your knees and slowly come down for hands to knee pose in the second set, less time needed in the warm up, right and left and left and right. Keep breathing, then bend your knees, stomach to thighs, reach around, scoop it up, palm to heel grip, hold it nice and tight and pull your heels, lift your hips, stretch your body down from the lower spine, stretching towards the floor, stomach to the thighs, chest to the knees, touch your face to the legs or try, no space between your upper and your lower half, roll forward, hips up, head down, pull harder, Find your maximum extension, hold it and breathe. Breathe in and breathe out. Inhale to come up. Come up in reverse. Bend your knees, but long spine all the way up. Stretch up tall, touch the ceiling, and then relax. Arms down, breathe in and breathe out. All right, the awkward series. We'll do two sets for this practice. Lucky us. Right foot steps to the right. It's about hips width distance between your feet, feet parallel, like a number 11 and capital letter H, don't change your feet. Arms out in front of the body, parallel to the floor, all five fingers together, palms flat and wrists straight. Charge your fingertips forward, arms are strong. Bring the weight to the heels, chest up, stomach in, take a breath, exhale. Sit down like you would into a chair, with the weight in the heels, 100%. Feet flat to begin with and spine straight. Now lift your chest, lean the upper body back. You should feel the thighs turning on right away. Check your feet. If your toes came out, bring it in. If your knees came in, you open it up. Maintain the gap between feet, knees, and the hands. Suck your stomach into the ribcage. Relax the shoulders and lift your chest. Lean back, more back. Push your upper body back and try to fall back. Inhale, come up. Second part with strong arms. Eyes focus one spot. Stand up onto your tippy toes as high as possible. Everything, the head, the chest, and the spine, stretch it up to the ceiling. Suck your stomach in, bend your knees, sit down on the tops of the toes without letting your heels drop. Think in your mind, heels up. Heels up, chest up. With a straight spine, upper body lean it back and focus your eyes one spot for the balance. Strong arms, stomach in, chest up, sit down and freeze. Inhale, come up, lower it down. Final one, strong arms, keep breathing. Come up a little bit on your toes and squeeze your knees together nice and strong. Chest up, spine straight, focus your gaze and slowly slide down like you would against the back of a wall. Shoulders, hips, and head, everything touches the wall. A continuous traction, stop at the bottom. A little gap between the hips and the heels. Push knees down and lift the chest up. Strong arms, straight spine, stomach in. Slowly come up. Breathing normal, all the way up the wall. Good, then feet down, arms down, right foot back to the left. Stand tall and breathe. Heart rate should be starting to climb and that's what we want. Second set, right foot steps back, plug it in. Arms strong, parallel to the floor. Stomach in, hold it in. Sit down into the chair, way, way back. Your hips and your heels reaching back as you stretch the arms forward. Suck your stomach in, look for the rib cage, relax the shoulders, and lift your chest. Lean back, more back. Push your upper body back and try to fall back. Inhale to come up, second part. Focus your eyes one spot, that really is the key. Stand up, tippy top of the toes, everything up. Your head, chest, and your spine. Then bend the knees, sit down on the tops of the toes. As you sit down, you lift up higher, your heels up, chest up. Stomach in, straight spine, halfway down into the chair, and then you freeze, hold it strong. Inhale, come up. Good, lower down. Last one, you can do it. Strong arms, come up a little bit. Knees together, super glue connection, straight spine. Slowly go down. You might even count in your mind to 10 keeping you connected as well as detaching all of the right ways. Stop at the bottom, a little gap between the hips and the heels. Push knees down and lift the chest up. Strong arms, stomach in, keep your knees together. Slowly, gently come up, 
leaning against the wall. Feet down, arms down, feet together, breathe in and breathe out. Okay, we have eagle posture, Garasana, and then a little water break. Bring your arms over the head sideways, touch your palms. Exhale the right arm underneath the left arm, cross at your elbows, cross again at your wrists, and just do the best you can to bring your hands together as close as they'll go. Pull your elbows down, open the shoulders, suck your stomach in, bend your knees, and sit low into the chair. A little bit chest up, right leg over the left leg. You wrap, twist, and squeeze your legs like they're two wet ropes. Now you might wrap the right foot, and if you don't wrap it today, you simply try. So much of the practice is happening in the practicing and the trying. Slowly move knees to the right, hands come back to the center. Feet, knees, elbows and wrists, one line with your nose, elbows down deeper, suck your stomach in and lift your chest at the end, you arch the upper body back, hold it and breathe. Good, change, feet together, arms up. Use your exhale to swing the left arm underneath the right arm, cross your elbows, cross your wrists as best you can. It might feel different side to side, it usually does. Pull your elbows down, suck your stomach in and sit low into that chair, stay down, a little bit chest up and the left leg, shoop over the right leg, wrap, twist, squeeze like two wet ropes. We're restricting blood flow to the joints, the largest joints in the skeletal system. When you release it, you get unrestricted blood flow, new energy and circulation back to the largest joints in the body. Sit a little deeper, twist it tighter. Elbows down, stomach in, and chest up. Lean back, hold it and breathe. Good, change. Feet together, arms up. We'll go right into the second set. Right arm under the left, cross, wrap, twist, and squeeze it tight. A little bit more mobility in the second set. Pull your elbows down, stomach in, sit low into the chair, stay low, a little bit chest up, and the right leg over the left. Wrap, twist, and squeeze. Good for the ankles, the knees, and the hips. In the upper body, it's the shoulders, elbows, and the wrist joints. Pull elbows down, suck your stomach in, chest up, lean back, hold it there. Good, change, feet together, arms up. Exhale the left arm, under the right arm, cross elbows and twist the wrist. Pull your elbows down to open the shoulders, the upper spine, stomach in, sit low into the chair, stay low, a little bit chest up and the left over the right. Wrap it, twist it and squeeze it like two wet ropes. Knees to the left, just a little bit. Hands to the center if they drifted, the feet, knees, elbows, the wrists. One line, be the shortest version of you sit down with the longest, tallest, the straightest spine. Elbows down, chest up, stomach in, hold it, breathe. Good, change, feet together, arms up, arms down, and a quick little party time. If you'd like a little sip of water, my friends in the Northwest, probably not so warm over there that you need the water here in the tropics. It's a nice 80 degrees out there at 7 p.m. I'm sweating and the room uh, doesn't even have the heat on. So I'll just enjoy a moment of stillness and breath. Breathe in and breathe out. Good, and the next series is the balancing series. It's really about building focus and concentration. A little bit to do with the physical body, mostly to do with your mind, your decision to focus on one thing, and that's the thing that you're doing. Okay, so standing head to knee pose, Dhanda Yamana Jhana Shirasana, we'll just do one set of this one. Wipe your hands if you need to. Shift your weight to the left side and make sure that your standing leg gets nice and strong. So there's nothing soft, nothing loose or hanging. You engage all the muscles, squeeze it to the bone. Suck your stomach in, interlace your hands and pick up your right foot a couple of inches below your toes your thumb is with the grip. You might be on your way to pick up your foot and that's perfect. Make your standing leg nice and strong. Keep it contracted the whole time. Suck your stomach in. If you're ready, you slowly, gently lift the right leg. Stretch it forward towards the mirror until the leg is parallel to the floor. Not too low and not too high, but exactly parallel with your standing leg strong. Now take a deep breath. Kick the right heel out. Turn the toes back to the nose. A big stretch underneath the Achilles tendon. If and when both legs look like an upside down L from the side, you can feel it, then round your spine and bend your elbows down. If your elbows go below your calf muscle, touch your forehead to your knee. We'll see what happens. 
stomach in, breathing normal, mind focused. Slowly come up, part by part by part, head up, arms straight, bend the knee, and replace your right foot for the left foot. Breath in and breath out. Very good. Other side. Wipe your hands if you need to. Shift the weight to the right side and make sure it's solid, contracted from the ground up. You push the whole foot down. Maintain equal body weight with your foot to the floor. Suck your stomach in, interlace, and pick up your left foot or be on your way to the grip. And never give up on getting it. Make your standing leg solid. Focus and concentrate. At the same time, working hard, you relax. It's just the right way. It's the balance. Stomach in, inhale, and slowly, gently left leg. Float it up, heel to the mirror, toes to the nose, a big stretch underneath, both legs super strong. You create upside down L from the side and breathing is normal. Then take it away, round the spine, bend your elbows. If your elbows go below your calf muscle, then change the gaze, you look down, draw a line with your eyes and touch your head to the knee or think of it, standing head to knee pose for a breath, or two, or three. Maybe even take a little nap there, fall asleep. Then slowly come up, part by part. And that's your goal. Something is definitely happening in the trying. Feet together, breathe in, and breathe out. Some people like to take a little mini back bend, uh, and that's just fine, a complement to that forward fold. Next is a backbending posture. It's the complement to the spine. It's the standing bowl pulling pose. We'll do two sets, Dandi Yamana, Dhanurasana. The left leg nice and strong. Is that right? Yeah, the left leg nice and strong. Bring your right elbow to your hip with your palm facing up. Pick up your right foot from the inside. Touch your knees together. Point your right toes and then stretch up the left arm. Nice and strong. Lift your chin and lift your chest. Take a deep breath, stretch up. Begin to charge your body forward at the same time kick your leg back and up now the first set let it unfold you don't have to be in in a rush we have a little bit more time to get the good form and alignment right shoulder disappears and left shoulder charging forward two arms two shoulders and one line from the side make your standing leg strong now start to bring the body down look for the toes over the head of the mirror maybe and maybe you don't have a mirror that's okay Kick and reach equal and opposites. Bring your body down as you kick. Reach forward, point the toes. Kick harder, body down. Kick one more time at the end. Then kick to come out. Feet together and the left arm down. Breathe in and breathe out. Heart rate pounds and that's exactly what we want. Other side, the right leg solid, left elbow to your hip. Pick up your left ankle from the inside. Touch your knees, point your toes. And then the right arm, nice and strong, like you're gonna touch the ceiling. Take a deep breath, stretch it up, get a little taller, and begin to kick back as you reach forward. Kick and reach together. When you find the 50-50, the balance, the kick and the reach, you literally find the balance and the posture. You can maintain it as long as you wanna be here. So to come down with the body, the toes over the head, two feet in one line from the side. You kick, you reach, and you breathe. Come down a little deeper. Point your toes, kick a little harder. Stretch forward, kick one more time. Then kick to come out. Feet together. And then right arm down last. Breathe in. And breathe out. Second set, a little bit less time. Twice the energy. Pick up your right ankle from the inside. Touch your knees. Point your toes, left arm up. Already you're in a spine twist. You're really in the posture as you set it up. Take a deep breath, stretch it up, and turn it on. You kick, you reach, breathe, and bring your body down. Kick harder. Good, reach forward. If you fall, that's okay. Give it everything you have in kicking and everything you have in reaching. Come down a little bit further. Two more inches body down. Now point your toes, kick, kick, kick. Good, kick your way out. Feet together, the left arm down. Breathe in, breathe out. Last side, pick up your left ankle from the inside. Touch your knees, point your toes together, levels the hips. Stretch up the right side, strong and straight like the arrow. Take a deep breath, stretch it up, and hit it. Charge forward while you kick it back. 
you are the archer. Pulling the bow, two arms, shoulders, and one line for the side. Aim your fingertips right in between your eyebrows. Come down and kick. Reach and kick. Point your toes. Turn it up. Turn it on. The body down. You got to kick, kick, kick. Then change. Kick to come out. Feet together. Right arm down. Breathe in and breathe out. All right, we've got the balancing stick. You might step a little bit further back so you have room to step onto the mat. Bring your arms overhead sideways. It's quick and it's strong. Interlace your fingers, release index fingers and cross your thumbs. Lift up your chin, suck your stomach in. Inhale, right leg steps forward, a big step. Point your left toes, body down, leg up. Body down, leg up. Arms, body, leg, everything. It's one piece, a capital letter T. Reach forward, stretch back, stretch and reach. Change, step back, feet together, chin up. Breathe, other side, left leg, a big step. Point the right toes, body down, leg up, body down, leg up. You gotta squeeze it so tight, try to squeeze out the voice. Arms and head together, touch the mirror, touch the wall behind you, point your toes, stretch and stretch. Change, step back, feet touch, arms down, breathe in. Breathe out. Heart should pound, that's what we want, that's why we do it. Second side, arms up, interlace. Release, point and squeeze it tight, chin up. Right leg, big step. Point your left toes, body down, leg up. Body down, leg up, squeeze it tight. Squeeze your arms against your head, reach forward. Point your toes and stretch your back, stretch and stretch. And change, good, step back one more time. Feet together, chin up. Left leg, a big step, stomach instability, body down, leg up, two legs straight, body down, leg up, squeeze arms and the head together, somebody pulling you forward and somebody pulling you back, stretch and stretch and stretch. Good, change, feet together, arms down, breathe in and breathe out. The next posture, thank goodness, we slow things down, we take the head below the heart. So we'll do it old school style for this practice step to the left side of the mat with your feet together for separate leg stretching, Dandiyamana, Bivaktapada, Paschimottanasana. Bring your arms overhead sideways, touch your hands. Exhale, right leg steps to the right. It's about four feet, you can always adjust your stance. Toes in a little and heels out a little. Stomach in with straight, strong legs, come down. Looking forward, exaggerate your chin forward, your chest forward, all the way down, all the way down. Head below the heart, that means it's a recovery posture. We're inverting the body. You can bring your hands to the floor out in front of you, or if you're ready, reach for the outsides of your feet, your heels, maybe the sides of the feet, or the backs of the legs, and start to pull your body down. Pull your spine down as you roll the weight forward into your toes. First the legs are stretching, then the hips, and then the spine, the lower the middle, then the upper, then the whole spine, the whole body stretching. You can pull so hard, one day your hairline might touch the floor right in between your feet. And if it's not touching, open your feet a little bit wider. Roll forward, pull, stretch, and touch it at the end. Your forehead, your hairline to the floor. Inhale, slowly come up. Gentle as you exit. Step back, right foot to the left. Arms up, arms down. Breathe in and breathe out. Good, second posture in a separate leg series, the triangle trikonasana, and we will do two sets of this one. I am gonna turn my towel because I'm a little sweaty and I prefer not to slip on camera. Feet together nicely. Arms overhead sideways, touch your hands. As you exhale, right leg, it steps to the right. This is a big step. It's the wingspan stance. Your feet should be below your hands. Hips forward, upper body lean back. Now pivot the right foot out parallel. Two heels in the same line. You can double check. You can adjust it if you need to. Then bend the right knee and sit down a little bit lower than is comfortable. We're opening our hips and our pelvis. Knee should be right above the ankle and thigh eventually parallel to the floor. Arms back, body back, take a deep breath. Move your arms at the same time. 
Touch your elbow to your knee. Fingers reach to the toes, but we're not touching the floor. There's no body weight down there. Look up, touch your chin to the left shoulder, and reach up above. You are trying to touch the ceiling. Now use your right elbow to push the right knee back. Roll the left hip, forward and down. Keep your left leg solid. Suck your stomach in. Reach up, go up, turn, twist your upper body back like a spinal twist at the end. Inhale, come up. First the arms, then the leg, and then the foot. Adjust if you need to. Turn your left foot out parallel. Now we're into the left side. Two heels in the same line. Bend your left knee, and you might bounce a couple gentle bounces, opening your hips and your pelvis. Sit low, knee above ankle, arms back, body back, breathe. Smile, and both arms move at the same time. Elbow to the knee. Fingers reach to the toes, but there's no pressure to the floor. Look up and touch your chin to the right shoulder. Reach up, stretch down, open up your chest. Push your left knee back, roll the right hip down. Keep the right leg solid, the right foot flat. Your step again, touch the ceiling, turn, twist your upper body back. Good, inhale to come up, first the arms. Then the leg, foot in. Feet together, arms up, arms down. Breathe in and breathe out. They call this one the master posture in the standing series. It's the marriage for the heart and the lungs. They're working together. Second set, a little bit quicker. Arms up, side wrist, touch your palms. Exhale, right leg steps, a big step. Hips forward, body back. Pivot the right foot parallel. Bend the knee, sit low. We were just here. Arms back, body back. Arms at the same time, elbow to the knee. Fingers stretching down, other arm reaching up. Look up, touch the shoulder with your chin. Push right knee back, roll it to down, stomach in, turn, twist your upper body back. Inhale up, straighten, then turn, left foot out parallel. Bend your knee, maybe bounce a couple of times. Arms back, body back, breathe. Both arms at the same time, elbow to the knee. Reach down, but stretch up. You're equal, your opposites. The working and the relaxing in just the right ways. Push your left knee back, roll the right hip down, suck your stomach in, touch the ceiling, turn, twist your upper body back. Inhale to come up, you got it. Close it up, feet together. Arms down, breathe in, and breathe out. All right, doing good. Last in the separate leg postures, Dandi Yamani Dvaktapada, Paschimottanasana, standing separate leg, head to knee. This time, only cross your thumbs. Right foot steps to the right, about three feet. Lift up your toes, pivot, and you face the right. Push your left foot forward a couple of times, hips in the same line. Reach up, get nice and tall, tuck your chin in, hold it in, and start to round your spine. It's a rounded spine, arms and head together. Fingers touch the floor, forehead touch the knee. You can separate the hands for balance, and you can bend the knee to get the forehead to touch the knee. Eyes open, mouth closed, uncomfortable posture. It's hard to be really attracted in the posture. Suck your stomach in and hold it, forehead to the knee. See the length I go for through for you guys? Okay, can't even talk in the posture. Straighten the leg, palms together. And you slowly come up, chin up very last. All right. Pivot through center and then over to the left. To the left side, push the right hip forward a couple of times, six in one line. Reach up, 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 get tall. Tuck your chin in and round your spine. Round it in. Suck your stomach in. Fingers to the floor, left forehead to the knee. Make the connection. Bend your knee, but it must touch. Start to shift your body weight more forward. Right hip down and left hip up. Hips working towards level, forehead stays with the knee. Straighten the leg. Bring palms together and slowly come up. Chin up very last. Keep the compression as long as you can, then pivot and then step back. Feet together. Arms down. Breathe in and breathe out. Second set, we'll go right into it. Arms up, touch your palms, step to the right. It's about three feet. Pivot to the right. Push your left foot forward, hips in one line. Reach up, chin in, stomach in, and round your spine. This time we'll work on palms together. Try not to separate the hands. Fingers out in front, forehead to the knee. Hold it there. Eyes open. Breathing should feel difficult. Talking should be very difficult. Use your forehead. Try to straighten both legs. Slowly come up, uncurl. 
reach in that very last pivot. One more side, pivot to the left, right hip forward a couple of times, reach up first, chin and stem again and round. Front side compression. This one's good for immune system, good for metabolism, forehead to the knee. It's an internal rinse, compression, thyroid, parathyroid glands, the pancreas, shift forward, square the hips, try to straighten both legs at the end. Then slowly up, two legs straight, unwind, uncurl, chin up last. Pivot, and step back, feet together, arms down, breathe in, breathe out. All right, come back to the center where it all began. Last in the standing tree pose, Load into the toes down. We'll just do one set together. Standing on the left leg, left toes point straight forward. I always visually double check. Then bend the right knee and lift up your right heel. You can use two hands, uh, right hand on top and left hand underneath to gently, a couple of times, wind the heel up. Never forcing, we're not forcing anything. Hold the foot from underneath with the left hand and let the right knee go down and back. At the same time, both hips forward. Opening hips and pelvis like we did in triangle, similar principle. Two shoulders in the same line and two hips in the same line. You gotta feel for it if you don't have the mirror. And then bring right hand to the chest. Keep your standing legs strong and grow a little taller. Root down as you stretch up. Balance and breathe. Toe stand. You could stay right here for the tree. Otherwise, look at the floor. Both hands together, start to lean forward and touch the floor. Now you might have to lean way, way out in front of you. You're taking a leap of faith, hands to the floor. Then bend the right knee, that would be the left knee, and sit down onto your lifted left heel. Take your hands to either side of the body. Still looking down for balance, start to stretch your spine up. Then bring left hand to the chest, followed by right hand to the chest. Palms together, maybe lift off your hips. Balance and breathe. Then slowly come up, hands out in front, reverse your way up. Come back to the tree. And change, feet together. And let both feet share the weight for a moment. Other side, right toes, they point straight forward. I always have to double check. Bend your left knee and lift it up. You can use two hands, gentle, mindful. You lift it up as high as it goes, not forcing anything. Hold from underneath, the left knee down and back and both hips forward. So we're opening hips in the pelvis, like in the triangle, shoulders level and hips level, left hand to the chest. Maybe the right hand, but if you have to stick your hips out behind you, better to hold the foot and grow your spine up. It's an upward intention for the spine. Balance and breathe. A grounding posture. Toe stand, look down, and then go down. Body starts to follow the eyes you go where you're looking. If your hands touch, then you've got a green light, bend the knee and sit to the heel. Walk hands to either side. Still look down as you stretch your spine out. So it's all about the upward intention for the spine, the left hand, and then the right hand. Maybe hips up, look forward in the mirror, balance and breathe. And if you don't have a mirror, you're just looking forward. Reverse it, hands come out, gently, mindfully. Come up to the tree pose if you can, just working in certain directions. And then change, feet together, arms down, breathe in, and breathe out. Well done, that was the standing series. If you need a little sip, now would be a good time. If you need to adjust your towel, now would be a good time. We're preparing for the remainder of class, which happens on the floor. Turn around, lay down on your back for Shavasana. Conscious relaxation. Heels together, feet fall open, arms by your side, palms face up. Be still and breathe. Breathe in and breathe out. Stillness and total relaxation. Your conscious relaxation posture. I'll give you a little time just as you are to practice.
allowing for new circulation, energy, blood flow to be evenly distributed throughout the body. This is what we refer to as the natural irrigation of the body through the circulatory system with the help of the respiratory system. Breathe in and breathe out. And the next posture we'll begin again is when you're moving Pavana Hatasana and we'll do just one good set. So keep your left leg relaxed, bend the right knee, lift up your right leg and interlace the grip just below the knee a couple of inches. Start to pull the knee down towards the shoulder. Pull hard. You are creating uh, some pressure, just right amount of pressure to the hip joint, aiding in hip flexibility. Some pressure to ascending colon good for digestion. Elbows in, shoulders down, tuck your chin. You can flex your left toes up towards your nose. Pull the right knee a little bit harder at the end. Find your maximum compression, maximum pressure to the lower right side. Freeze and breathe and change. Right leg down and left leg up. Bend the knee, interlace the grip and start to pull. It might feel different side to side. Why? Because it's the other side. Elbows in and shoulders down, tuck your chin. On this side we are compressing, pressurizing into the left hip joint and as well the descending colon. Flex the right toes up to the nose. So one side of the body gets extension and the other side gets compression. We lengthen and we squeeze as you pull it in. Elbows in, shoulders down, tuck your chin, pull harder at the end and freeze. And change, left leg down. Both legs come up, reach around for your elbows. Try to get your elbows, even if you don't, you keep trying for your elbows. Feet relax side by side, so everything pulled in nice and tight. Knees down, chin down, shoulders down, and hips down. Everything down, pressure now to the transverse colon and the lower abdomen. And over time, just visualize it in your mind's eye, your whole spine from the neck all the way to the tailbone flat to the floor with knees, thighs squished into your chest. Pull it harder, freeze and breathe. And then change, relax, legs long, arms down, palms up, all new circulation, blood flow energy back into the body, to the hips, the abdominals, the colon, the fingers, the hands, the throat, the neck, the spine, all over. Just breathe. Okay, we'll use a sit-up to transition into the spine strengthening series. You can always just roll to your side and meet us there. Otherwise, feet together. Keep your heels down the whole time. Toes to the nose. Arms overhead. Cross your thumbs. Arms with your head. Chin in. Stomach in. Sit up. Dive through your toes. A double exhale, get a good stretch. And roll to your belly for the spine strengthening series. Now for this practice, we'll do one set of each spine strengthening series posture, beginning with Cobra, Bhujangasana, this is for the low back. So stretch your chin forward and bring your hands underneath your shoulders. All five fingers are together, not too far up, down, outer in, but just right, your hands invisible underneath the shoulders. Elbows in the whole time. Zip up your legs the whole time. Exhale first. <sighs> Inhale. Lift up and come up. Come up just high enough that your belly button's down and the rest of the upper body in the air. The arms are like a rectangle shape from the side. Squeeze your elbows in. Roll the shoulders down. Look up. Lift up. Squeeze your cobra's tail a little bit tighter and hold it up. Slowly gently lower down. Chin first. Arms by your side, left ear down, gaze right, breathe in, breathe out. Next is Locust Alabasana. This one's very challenging to talk and do. We'll see what happens. Roll from side to side, arms underneath your body, the palms face down. Bring your chin forward. Relax your left leg. Point your right toes. Stretch your right leg back and up. Stretch and lift. Point your toes. Don't let the knees soften. Don't let it bend. Keep the legs straight and strong. Squeeze the muscle to the bone. Push shoulders down. Lift your leg up. Slowly down. Relax it. Now other side. Point your left toes. Stretch it way, way back and then lift it up. Upper back strength to do the work. Push shoulders down and lift the leg up. Squeeze it tighter. The muscles to the bone. Lift it one inch higher and hold it. Slowly down. Now for the third part, the mouth on the floor. 
Readjust your hands, fingers to the knees, forearms a little bit closer together. Make your legs nice and strong. Take a breath, prepare. Exhale, both legs lift up. Both legs up. Push the shoulders down as you lift your legs up. Squeeze your legs a little bit tighter. Think of your upper back strength, shoulders down. Mouth down, lift and lift and lift. And slowly come down. Release your arms. Look left. Completely relax. Back rises, back falls. Toes touch, heels part. Hands, elbows, everything soft. Full locus this time for the middle spine. Bring your chin out and your arms out wide like airplane wings. Zip up the legs. Tighter is lighter. Exhale first. <sighs> Inhale, lift up. And a good one. Everything lifted. Arms, legs, and body. Lift your chest, your arms, your head. Look up. Legs up, head up, eyes up to rise up. Exhale, come up one more time at the end. And slowly lower. Chin first. Look right, left ear down, relax, relax. Breathe in and breathe out. Good. Final in the series is the bow pose. Chin out, bend your knees, grab your feet from the outside. We worked the lower, the upper, that was your middle, and now we work the full spine. Chin forward, exhale first. Inhale, look up kick up, kick without stopping. And without intermission, the whole spine is bending backward. Knees in, wrist straight, point your toes, use the strength of the legs. Can you look up and can you kick up just a little bit higher at the end? Kick, kick, kick. And slowly release it, chin first. Look to the left, relax completely. One more breath here, a breath in and a breath out. Then bring your chin forward, hands underneath the shoulders, come up to the top of the mat. This one is the fixed firm pose, Supta Vajrasana, knees and feet together to begin. Open your feet to hips width, and if you have pain in your knees, you can always open your knees. And you can stay in this position. You can use your hands beside you for support. You don't ever want to force, especially the knees. If you're sitting all the way down and it feels relatively comfortable, you can start to recline. Bring your hands to your feet. It's right elbow first, then left elbow, then head, back of the head, and eventually shoulders on the mat. If that's you, then reach for your elbows over your head. Tuck your chin and lift your chest up. Keep the knees down the whole time. The knees might touch each other, but not forcing that. Breathe in and breathe out. Another breath in, another breath out. Restoring the C shape to the low back. Very restorative posture for the knees, the ankles, the hips. Gently reverse, hands to feet, elbows, and head up very relaxed. Turn around, relax on your back, Shavasana. Allowing the legs to be long and loose. Arms by your side to get that unrestricted blood flow back to the joints. Breathe in and breathe out. Good, we'll do a sit up. Feet together, flex toes, arms up and thumbs crossed. Keep your legs strong, heels down, sit up. Double exhale. This time, sit at the back of the mat. Or half tortoise the Ardha Karmasana, hips to the heels. Bring your arms overhead sideways and touch your palms. Only the thumbs are crossed, chin up. Take a deep breath, stretch up, and slowly come down, arms and head together for as long as you can. Touch your forehead and then the hands. Keep reaching your arms forward as you stretch your hips back. Stretch and breathe and stretch. Shoulders coming forward. Hips moving back towards your heels. Create more length, more space in the body. Maybe even more space in the mind. Breathe and stretch and stretch. 
Maybe it's your inhale to reach forward and up. Squeeze the inner thighs together. All the way up, get a little taller. Good. Arms down. Shavasana. Relax. Breathe in. And breathe out. All right, that brings us to Camel Ustrasana, our deepest backward bend of the series. First to sit up, feet together, flex your toes, arms up, thumbs crossed, sit up. Then meet me on your knees, top of the mat. Start with your knees and your feet about hips with distance apart. Bring your hands to the low back, the thumbs on the outside and the fingers facing down, just like they're in your back pockets. Hips forward a little bit, chest up, roll the shoulders back, and let your head drop back as far as it goes. Now, keep your eyes open and your mouth closed. Breathe through the nose. Look for the wall behind you. Look as far back as you can see, and maybe one hand at a time, reach for the heels. Thumbs out, fingers in. Hips forward, stomach forward, thighs forward. Breathe and push. Lift your chest up and push the hips forward. Now to come up, bring your hands back to the hips one at a time. Help yourself up, head up very last. Sit the hips down to the heels, find a neutral spine. Then turn around and safely relax on your back. Neutral spine, neutral body, and neutral mind. Breathe in and breathe out. Second set, camel pose. We gotta do two. Feet together, flex your toes. Arms up and thumbs crossed. Sit up. Turn around. This time you're welcome to open your knees a little bit wider than you did the first time. I'll turn to the side so you can see the profile if you're unfamiliar. Most of you, I'm sure, have done this a few times before. Knees a little bit wider than the first set, perhaps. Feet stay hips width. Hands to low back, thumbs out, fingers in. Hips toward a little bit. Chest up a lot, head back. Go back halfway. Now you might stop and enjoy the stretch. The whole heart side opening. Or one hand at a time, reach for the heels. Thumbs out and fingers in. Get a full palm to heel grip. Chest up and hips forward. Let the whole front be open. Your throat, your chest. Breathe and push. to come up, hands to the hips. Come up supportive. Head up very last. Hips down to the heels, then turn around, relax. We'll complement the spine with the next posture. It's the Reverse direction for the spine, the rabbit, the maximum forward bend, maximum extension to the spine. Feet together, flex toes, arms up and thumbs crossed, sit up. This time, back of the mat, towel over the feet. If you're a little drippy, a little sweaty, you don't want to lose the grip. Hold the heels, thumbs up, fingers in, just like you did in camel the same way. Sit up nice and tall to begin. Tuck your chin in, suck your stomach in, and round your body down. Forehead and knees will touch each other, or at least that's what you're trying for. Pull your heels and lift your hips. Roll forward until the arms are straight. Walk your knees forward a couple of times if you need to. Shoulders up, hips up, stomach in. Roll forward, feel the whole spine open and stretch. Then gently come up, pull your heels, unwind, head up very last. You can turn around and relax on your back or stay here for a seated rest. Okay, second set. Reach for the heels. You might need to move your ponytail out of the way. Tuck your chin in, suck your stomach in, and round it down. Forehead to knees, as close as you can, top of the hip of the floor. Pull the heels and lift the hips. Roll forward so the arms are straight. Pull your heels, lift your hips, suck your stomach in, roll forward, pull back of the back open. And gently come up, hips down, unwind, head up, turn around, relax. Shavasana. We're in the home stretch now. 
Two postures remaining, a final breathing exercise. One set of each. Feet together, flex your feet, arms up, thumbs cross, sit up. For Jhana Shrasana, turn to face the front, right leg out and left leg in, legs are 90 degree angle. There's a little bit of pressure, sole of the foot to the right inner thigh. Bring your arms overhead, interlace your fingers, turn to the right, tuck your chin, round down, grip at the ball of your foot. You might need to bend your knee to get the grip, to touch the forehead to the knee, bend your knee as much as you need to. Kick out through your heel, pull back on your toes. If the leg is straight, bend your elbows and lift your heel, round your spine, stomach in, hold it and breathe. Then change, come up and switch your legs. Left leg out, right leg in. Legs are 90 degree angle, you can always double check. Arms overhead, interlace, turn, round down. It's just like rabbit spine, rounded spine. Hold the ball of your foot, forehead to the knee. Roll in a little bit to square the shoulders. Kick out through your heel, pull back on your toes. Stop again. Breathing should feel restricted. Keep breathing, hold it there. Change, come up. This time, both legs straight out. Roll back to a quick sit-up. Paschimottanasana. Grab onto your big toes, middle index fingers, and walk your hips back. Right from the middle. Left and right, all the way back till the legs are straight. Heels up, shoulders back, and chest is open. Your knees might be bent, and that's okay too. I have a long, long spine. Take a deep breath, stretch up, and start to pull your body forward. Even if you don't come very far forward, that's okay. Feel, create, and maintain incredible stretch to the whole back of the body, to the legs, keep breathing, to the hips, and then the spine. Try to touch your forehead to your toes. Pull, stretch, breathe. Breathe and change. Come up. Take a rest on your back, your Shavasana. Breathe in and breathe out, neutralizing the spine. All right, here we go. Feet together, flex your feet, arms up, thumbs crossed, sit up. For our final asana, spine twist, not my best posture. Bend your left knee, right heel with the corner of your left knee. So maybe you're not watching me for the best uh, physical expression of the posture, but you can listen to the words. Right hand behind you for a kickstand, a little bit of support. Bring your left arm up and around. Move your top knee out of the way. Reach down, and if you can reach your knee, you grab the knee. If it's not your knee, you grab the towel. Take a deep breath and stretch your spine up. Then look over the shoulder and twist your spine. You might lift up your back hand, reach around to the left thigh. If you collapse, then you put your hand back down. Take a breath and stretch up. Exhale, look further with the eyes as you twist, 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 and then untwist. All turn around, but you don't have to. Switch your legs, you bend the right knee. Left heel with the corner of the right knee, there it is. Two hips are anchored down to the mat. Bring your left hand behind you, right arm comes up and around. Reach down for the knee or the mat of the towel. Take a deep breath and stretch up. Look over the shoulder and twist your spine. Imagine it's like a wet towel. You might lift up your kickstand, reach around for the right inner thigh, or use the hand for support. Every breath in stretches up, and every breath out twists a little bit tighter. Look with your eyes, twist, twist, twist. Gently untwist, relax on your back. Last time for conscious relaxation. Breathe in and breathe out, just to neutralize for a moment. The very last sit up. Feet together, flex feet, arms up and thumbs crossed. Sit up. All right, then turn around and face forward for the final breathing exercise, couple body breathing, blowing in Vajrasana. This time you'll exhale only, inhale happens automatic. Exhale by the mouth, suck your stomach in, We'll do one set of about 60 breaths. Arms straight, spine straight, chest up, shoulders relaxed, and the belly loose. Focus forward in the mirror. Inhale to get ready and begin.
practice. Now to seal the practice, turn around, relax on your back for at least one to two minutes. It's been my absolute and total pleasure to guide you through your 60 minute practice at Bikram Yoga at Delray Beach. I'm so, so grateful uh, to get to practice and I'm so grateful that you took the time to practice with me. Namaste.